What's up everyone? So hi, I'm Parang and I'm going to be breaking down my T triple Q trade today. So let's see uh, what did I trade and why did I trade that and what was my PNL. So starting with the trade, uh, I traded T triple Q. So this is 22nd October and I traded T triple Q. Um, so yeah, there was a bit of a lag. So T triple Q $428.50 is what I made. Um, so these are the executions that I did. So T triple Q is a three times leveraged ETF uh, of NASDAQ. So it uh, it really follows uh, NASDAQ or uh, you know composite NASDAQ composite. It uh, follows uh, the NASDAQ composite and it's three times leveraged. That means whatever move that NASDAQ has, uh, this particular ETF will move three times uh, the movement that has you know that that's there in nasdaq so for example if nasdaq moves one percent this particular etf will move three percent so it's just a three times leveraged etf so um i, I took some puts and this is the pnl so this is the 428 uh, per dollars 428 dollars and 50 cents of the pnl from t triple q trade uh, the rest are holding so just ignore this uh, these are my executions. So this is 22nd of October. Uh, I, I did a one. So basically I took three contracts. I added some contracts and uh, I sold them. I basically scaled them out uh, within uh, 15 minutes. And then I again took a trade and scalped uh, three contracts. So one contract is 100 shares. So let's jump to the charts and let's see what's uh, what is the rationale for the trade. So, so this is a chart. Uh, this is a chart for T Triple Q, and uh, this is the this is the, the this is the live market right now. Um, so this is where uh, you know I I was watching T Triple Q. So around 9:48. So that means just after the market opened. So this is. Uh, in India, 7 o'clock is uh, 9.30 there, so at 9.30 the market opens. So at 9.48 I took the first trade, so uh, that would be somewhere around uh, 18 minutes from the open and that's going to be 7.18, so somewhere around here. So why I took this trade was uh, number one that you know this uh, there was a pre-market range which is being formed by T Q. so this is the pre-market chart. And I was looking, uh, the market had to be bullish in the sense that uh, if you look at the background, uh, jobless claims numbers came in and they were better than expected. So uh, that was really good for the market. So here is when TQQ started inching up. So my actual bias was bullish on this one. And I was looking to trade the break of 142.12. Uh, but what happened really was, you know, I when I saw this first candle, I was waiting for a bull flag kind of a continuation formation for here and looking to trade above the day's high but uh, this particular candle just uh, you know in indicated that there is inherent weakness because this is now could take out the pre-market lows so this 13831 is uh, it's a critical level for TQQ and it also uh, became a pre-market support so it was a pre-market support and it was just struggling somewhere around here so my first entry was here at uh, uh, 1918 and I added more contracts once I saw this formation so once I saw this consolidation continuation below the VWAP uh, I added more quantities and my first target was 13831 so this was my first target and then I was looking to trade the break of this particular level uh, this is my chart and I had plotted this level earlier so I never expected this to actually move down so quickly till here uh, because option premiums move very very fast so I took my profits I did my first scalp at this particular place and then I added more when I saw this kind of a consolidation so I added more quantities uh, I took another trade and I did a scalp so this is where I exited my scalp so let's see let's have a look at the executions uh, so if I switch to my executions just a second If I switch to the executions part here, so you can see that uh, the first trade that I took was uh, 948 uh, and added at added just after 40 seconds, and then sold the first part at 1007 and 1008. 
so let's see if where are these points in the chart and uh, let me explain why i did that so my first exit was at 10 uh, somewhere around 10 18 so that is approximately 50 minutes from the open so somewhere around here i took my first exit so this particular candle uh, this particular level so this is my this was my target and this was achieved the the reason why i exited and i did not hold the trade uh, i'm an intraday swing uh, positional trader i usually uh, hold the trade then scalp but the reason was uh, number one uh, that you know there was there was a bullish candle formation over here and uh, i saw a lot of uh, you know bits i saw this is the level 2 i saw a lot of bits and i saw a lot of green prints right here so i didn't want to take a chance uh, i was in handsome gains uh, when it comes to percentage based basis and uh, i tried to the trade the next place where i would think to again short it uh, or again buy puts would be a break of this so i was watching it and if i switch to my executions again So this is uh, what it looks like. So the next trade, uh, these three contracts, uh, this is bought just after one minute of my exit, right? Because I, I saw that there is inherent weakness and I want to scalp one more time. So $3.4, so this is uh, $340 per contract. I bought three contracts and I sold them uh, at a profit of 45 cents. So that is approximately 15% gains uh, in about 11 or 12 minutes. So if I go back to the chart and show you, so I exited after uh, 12 minutes. So let's see. So this is where I re-entered and uh, after three candles, I think somewhere around this flush, I sold it all off. So this is uh, 7.54 uh, and uh, Indian time. So I, I scaled my position down. So yes, I could have held, uh, I could have held the position till this particular target, but uh, this is one of a kind move. Like you don't get this, uh, you know, in this big of a flush uh, right out of the bat. And uh, when it comes to options, your premiums go, you know, they skyrocket if uh, there's a move like this. So I bought it, uh, I bought my first contract of uh, $140 strike, which is in the money. Uh, I, I bought it for around three dollars and fifty cents, and I sold it for I think around uh, fifty sixty cent profit. But uh, at this particular point of time, it was trading at eight dollars, so it actually doubled, and my PNL could have been much much bigger. Looking at the opportunity that I traded. So the thing is, uh, there are two three points to consider here. So when I shorted it here, uh, it was also kind of forming a falling wedge. So for those of you who know what is a falling wedge, a falling wedge is basically a reversal pattern. And I was ready for uh, maybe a spike up here and you know a move up here. So I was ready with my trailing stop loss too tight. So I was only having a hundred and fifty or hundred and twenty dollar risk if by chance it broke this particular level. But when I saw that you know this wedge pattern was also broken and. Uh, you know it broke with good volume so another important thing to consider here is there was constant spike in volume over here uh, which suggested that this level uh, because since it has been broken on a closing basis it has plenty of room to move on the downside um, yes it felt kind of uh, very bad when it you know came all the way back down to the level which uh, i would uh, have wanted to trade so it happens and the, the the important thing here is I planned to scalp this trade and I did not plan to hold it. So and the reason for that was uh, I told you jobless claim numbers were good and stimulus could come out anytime. Trump and Pelosi, both of them, uh, you know, the Democrats in the House, the Congress, everyone is trying to work on a, another, the second phase of the stimulus bill. So I did not want to take any chances and I saw good price action here and uh, it worked according to my uh, uh, my, my my thought process and uh, that's why I scalped it and I, I went out of it. I did not trade it the second time so I knew it, it's going to come at least till here. Uh, like that's what I anticipated but I did not trade because I did not want to you know at this particular point the premiums are so high if I'll be you know placing a short trade over here my risk reward is going to get uh, really jacked. So I did not trade it. Another thought that came into my mind was to trade this reversal right here. So I expected some kind of uh, buying here. So this is a hammer uh, which was formed here and look at the volume here. So this clearly tells you that there is a good decent buying here but I was not interested in trading the opposite side of the trade. Uh, just, just for the fact that it has bounced off the support and you know this particular candle made a wick. So I was not interested here. 
So as of now, it again moved to the VWAP, got rejected once, uh, retested it twice, and then again got rejected. So uh, possibly it can even break this particular level right here. And if you if you look at uh, Dow, S and P, uh, and Nasdaq, all three uh, are in the red right now. And uh, so that's it. That was my trade. And uh, if I just move on to my PNL again. So this is uh, this is my PNL. So four hundred and twenty-eight dollars and fifty cents with uh, 20, 25, 30 minutes of trading. I scalped it, and yeah, I'm done for the day. So if you're new here, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe this video uh, for more such content. Thank you. Have a good day.